You know, when I first embarked on my quest to become more successful, like holistically in my life, there was one domain that I constantly hated when people brought up. You know, I was hearing all these interviews and all these success stories on podcasts, and I was trying to emulate their success. And so many entrepreneurs said the same thing. You have to do the mindset work. And they would give these like generic pieces of advice like that. And I'm trying to figure out how to get fit, how to attract girls, how to build a business, how to be happier. And they're like, you have to do your mindset work. And I thought it was the most annoying and irritating thing I'd ever heard. But in this video, I want to share five practical changes you can make in your mindset. Because it is true on some level, you have to make these inner shifts for the outer shifts to occur. So I want to share these five mindsets with you now. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master of the Day. FYI, half this book is on some of those mindset secrets. Now, one of the best ways to get started with changing your mindset, setting your goals, changing your life, is to actually plan out your year. So the first link in the description is a free goal setting worksheet to help you plan out your year and do just that. You'll also get an email every few days on how to set goals that can radically change your life. So go ahead, check it out down there below. So let's talk about the first mindset shift that can really change your life. You can change. All right. And I know that might seem a bit trite and a bit kind of sarcastic, but if you don't believe you can change, you'll never try. When I was a young kid, I was super introverted. I never spoke. My family was even worried about how little I spoke and interacted with other people. And... I was just nicknamed Invisible Boy by a girl. Like, I just never talked. I was like the, the classic silent, judgy introvert. And for 25 years, I believed that I was the quiet introvert who never spoke, which was just a story. But guess what? Because I believed that, I never tried to be anything other than that quiet introvert. Because I believed I could not change. That's just how I was. I believed all these things about myself, and they were all these real limitations that were not true. But if you believe you can change, which you can, because you're not a slug or an ant, you're a friggin' human, you won the reincarnation lottery, because you can change, you should, to improve your life. You can change aspects of your physical appearance. You can lose or gain weight. You can change your hairstyle. You can change your bad habits and behaviors. You can change the things that are good about you or the things that are bad about you. So if you believe you can change, you're going to try. The second big mindset shift that is really important in this era is that no knowledge is hidden. Okay? Guys, when I was a kid, there was no friggin' internet. There was no social media. So there was no example for me of the kinds of people building these incredible lives I wanted to have. There was no evidence of that because all I saw was what was around me. The fact that you're here now watching this video and I'm telling you, you could be whatever you want to be, Jimmy. That's insane. That's awesome. And that's an advantage. When I wanted to build my business when I was 24, I didn't know how the hell to build a business. I didn't know what I was doing. But the amazing thing is with the internet, you can find almost anyone Almost anything you want to do, unless you're like the first in history, someone's done what you're trying to do. And you can just figure that out by modeling them and emulating them. You know, when I was a kid, again, I couldn't go to Medium or Quora or YouTube or listen to a podcast. I figured, I don't know if this is possible. I guess not. I mean, maybe I'll just have to be the first then. There was no self-confidence there. So, you can figure out almost anything. The third mindset shift that helped me a lot was that it only takes an hour a day to improve your life, to change your life. Now, when I was first, first, first in a personal development, it was 17 or 18, and like so many young men, it was because I wasn't getting any girls. I was perpetually single. I was like a nerdy, friendly, nice guy. I was a good guy, but I wasn't exactly like the first pick for women. You know, I was the guy where women are like, oh my God, I'm going to marry your son, Mrs. Hine. They'd say that to my mom. I'm going to marry your son. And yet none of them would even date me. So it's like, look, I'm just being honest. I'm a young guy, but I'd rather you want to sleep with me than say you want to marry me. 
Because this is weird. What, what are these mixed signals? And that pain is what got me into personal development. And there were a lot of things I wanted to work on. I wanted to be more attractive. I wanted to improve myself, be more fit, have better style, have better conversational skills, be more interesting, have a cooler life, go after my own dream. But I don't know how to do it. Like that's a lot of stuff to want to change about yourself. That's a lot of stuff to have to work on. And it wasn't until later in life where I found Earl Nightingale and he said, it just takes an hour a day. And guess what? You can get off work or get off school at four, five, six, just spend one hour improving your life and have all night to freaking watch Netflix or do whatever you want to do. Play World of Warcraft. If you just dedicate that one guilt-free hour per night, you can spend the rest of the day doing whatever you want and still make amazing progress. The fourth mindset shift, and this is a juicy one, is that you deserve it. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have an awesome life. You deserve to be fit, to be to have the money to do what you want to, to date someone that actually loves you for who you are. You deserve all those things, and you can have all those things. So whatever BS story you're telling yourself about why you don't deserve to be happy is garbage. If you don't believe you deserve that amazing person in your life, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to self-sabotage and push them away. If you don't think you deserve to have money to live life or help your family, you're never going to try to get it or you're going to spend it. Like 80% of pro NBA players are broke, file for bankruptcy five years after they're, they're done. If you don't feel like you deserve it and you have those habits around it, you're not going to maintain the good things in your life. So don't think for a second these BS beliefs that, oh, all good things you know, will come to pass or all this great stuff can't last forever. All these beliefs are garbage. The fact is if you go after building your dream life, you inspire a hundred people. So by you being brave and going after the things that you deserve that are your birthright, even if they're just to make you happy, you inspire a hundred people. So the world needs you because the world needs people who are brave, who are courageous, and will go after their dream. The world needs more of those leaders. So the fifth mindset shift that made a humongous difference, primarily my financial life, was shifting from I can't to how can I. You know, for me, I waited until 29 to go after my biggest passion, which is studying integrative medicine and doing my doctorate in Chinese medicine because it really cured my lifelong GI problems. I waited 29 years to do a dream that I knew over 10 years ago because I was too afraid I wouldn't be able to make a financial living and that people would not take me seriously. All fear. Guess what? It was not until I was 29 where I realized that, you know what, number one, I'd become an entrepreneur who could finally support himself financially. But I knew that life was what you make it and I'd lived it. I built a company from scratch. And I wasn't rich, but I could support myself. So I knew, okay, if this is my dream, my passion, and it's going to cost four years, and it's $120,000 before my living expenses, how can I? So you know what I did? I, I promised myself, Alex, I'm going to work 20 hours a week my whole doctorate. Now one student in the whole damn school of 600 people is doing that. I promised I would. And the first year, I lived in a $500 a month apartment. That was almost one-third the rent I was paying back in Connecticut. And I chose to suffer and downgrade and not be happy where I live so that I could have a better future four years from now. I would work 20 hours a week the whole time. I would live in the, the cheapest apartment I could find. And I would grit and bare my teeth and continue to build my business. And if my business failed, I'd work in a friggin' coffee shop or be a bartender. And that, just that shift from how can I, that shift to how can I, suddenly gets that idea muscle going in your life. And if you do that, not only in your financial life, but your relationship, happiness, whatever, the ideas will show up on how to improve your life. And so all these mindset shifts, I hated when people told me it's all about mindset. But when you understand practically what mindset means, it begins to unlock this box in your life. And from that can greatness finally emerge. Damn, I feel like freaking Hafiz, the poet or whatever. So I challenge you guys to try some of these mindset shifts in your life. and Tell me how they work out for you. Now, before you go, the first link in the description is for a yearly goal-setting worksheet to help you plan out 
not only the mindset shifts, but the tactical habit shifts to improve your life. So you can click the first link below to download that free guide. You'll also get an email every three days, which is a goal setting email course on how you can set and achieve your wildest goals this year. After you check those out, come on over, check my last two videos right there and right there. <laughs>